Okay, so you've got your captions looking beautiful and you want to post online. Now what? I'm going to take you through the steps of figuring out how to post with burned in captions or with a sidecar file and when you should choose that. Let's say we want to post this on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and hit File, Export Media and look for the captions section of the export settings. This is where you can control whether or not you're burning in your captions or doing a sidecar file on export. So for this first export, I'm going to post this on YouTube and it's recommended to do a sidecar file. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose the sub rip subtitle format, otherwise known as SRT. And this is pretty ubiquitous. It'll be accepted throughout basically everybody on the internet. And you can see that when I select that, the subtitles go away in the preview. And that's an indication that this is going to be saved only as a sidecar file and not actually burned into the image of the video. So I'm going to make sure that I give this a reasonable name and save it in a place that I can find it. I'm going to call this the climber clean. That means that there's no text burned into the image. Save. And I'm going to hit export. So here we can see that we have two files. We have an MP4 file, which is our video file. This is a clean version. It doesn't have any captions burned into it. And we also have an SRT file, and this is the file that has all of our captions in it. And in fact, you can even open this with a regular text editor like text edit on the Mac. And you can look at this file and see that it's quite human readable. You just have the time code and the caption and you could in fact even make corrections in here if you need to. So now I'm going to go over to YouTube and upload these files and I'm going to drop my video file on there, just the video file, and I'm going to wait for this to upload. Now that this is done uploading, you can go to video elements and add subtitles. This is where you're going to upload that SRT file and yes, it has timing. So we're going to hit continue and select that file. And you can see that we have all of our captions at the correct time. And you can see what the text of the captions is. YouTube also has a fairly handy little uh, caption editor. And this gives you one last chance to make any small corrections if you need to before it gets posted. And now when your visitors watch your video, they'll have this CC button in the player and they can turn those captions on and off. You know, climbing the, it's this escape. There's so many different aspects to climbing. I mean, you have crimps, you have. So YouTube is done. Now let's move on to Instagram. So of course, Instagram has two special considerations and that's going to be the aspect ratio, but also that we burn in those captions and make them look nice. So the very first thing I'm going to do is use auto reframe to reframe the aspect ratio of this project. Now auto reframe is doing its magic, figuring out how to reformat all of your videos, but also the subtitles have been reformatted as well. And so you can see that these uh, are all inside the frame. But before I actually go ahead and post this, I wanna make sure that these look really nice. So I'm going to choose a style preset that I have previously created. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about that and show you how I made that. So the first thing I did was I chose a nice font. Uh, this is, you know, Arial rounded. It's just sort of a friendly font. And I made sure that it's kind of big, you know, because this is going to be on a phone. It should be nice and big and visible. I made it faux bold to make it really stand out. Text is white. The stroke is purple because why not? And the background is black with a curved radius. So this just makes it look really friendly, but also it's gonna stand out on top of the video and be very, very visible. And you can see that we've got lots of options here. Once I dialed all that in, I hit create style, gave it a nice name, and then I can reuse this again and again. So I'm gonna render it out the same way as before, only this time I'm gonna to choose to burn in the captions. This way it's gonna be permanently included in the video image itself. Users cannot turn it on and off, but that is 
perfect for Instagram and Twitter and other platforms that don't support those sidecar files. Now I can just airdrop this over to my phone and post it on Instagram. So it's looking great on Instagram. It's got beautiful captions and this is really going to stand out in my feed. So I hope you found this no informative and it's, it's happy captioning. There's so many different aspects to climbing. I mean, you have crimps, you have dino.